The Mark Monitor online barometer, which was carried out by a third party interviewing 3,200 people in eight countries covering the United States and Western Europe. In this second edition of the Mark Monitor online barometer, we found some very interesting statistics about the travel industry. And first of all, I guess unsurprisingly, we found that a very high proportion of people, 68%, actually exclusively book travel on the internet. The internet does bring convenience, but it also brings challenges. And one of the things we found was that seven out of every hundred uh, that booked their travel via the internet in some way felt that it didn't live up to expectations. But we also found that a very high proportion of those, 37% of those who felt that, actually had problems with fraud, like their credit cards being cloned or their credit cards being abused in some way. One of the things that we found definitely came out in this survey was that far more people, when they're disappointed with a holiday, will go and post a bad review, 42%, compared with about a third of people will go and complain to a trade association or a licensing body. And I think that really demonstrates that the internet and the review sites and social media platforms are becoming more and more relevant and more and more important to consumers these days. Similar to our previous online barometer, we found that when people are looking to purchase discounted goods prior to their trip, they go to the internet because that's where they're really looking to get bargains. They're not looking for counterfeit goods. We found 83% of the people that we surveyed were looking for genuine bargains. We found that 10% of them, unfortunately, are tricked into buying products that turn out to be fake or replica in some way. And most likely those were clothing, shoes or sunglasses. Clearly related to travel, when people are going away, they're thinking about taking a book with them or watching a film on the, uh, on the plane. And the opportunity is there now to get content from the internet exactly for that purpose. Interestingly, we found that when we asked people whether they would illegally download content, 67% of the people felt that would be exactly the same as shoplifting. 